Hey everybody, how you doing? Sony PlayStation 3 Fat 84 here. Yeah, so today we have Razer Freestyle Scooter and we we're talking about another Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2 clone. Um, it's kind of done up for kids, has a very cartoony look, right? Um, I got a comment from Kevin Twiner and uh, he said essentially no one likes a complainer and he's right and uh, I'll be more cognizant and uh, try to be a little bit less uh, hectic I guess trying to put my videos together I'm a little bit impatient trying to try to get it together but uh, I don't know I just want to go ahead and get these done but uh, anyway uh, yeah this is Razor Freestyle Scooter uh, just look at it it's going to be better than MTV Sports Skateboarding featuring Andy McDonald, but it's not going to be as good as Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. Let's just be factual. Um, but yeah, I mean, it looks pretty cool. I've played the first stage and stuff, and uh, you know, it's it's got the basic core elements of these types of games, which is just collect certain items, get a high score, you know? So... You know, it, I'm, I'm a little bit excited despite this being a bad game because it's Razor Freestyle Scooter. I, I like real Razor Freestyle Scooters. Freestyle. I, I had uh, a couple of them. I think I had like three. Um, yeah, just good stuff, man. Uh, it, they're, they're fun to actually do. I, I think they're up my alley because I was never good at skateboarding. Now, I had CCS magazines growing up because uh, some kids got me on some CCS magazines. And, you know, I, I, I got me a skateboard with an eight ball on it. And I just didn't land tricks or do anything really good. I, I, I mean, you know, I popped ollies and uh, did that weird side side of the board trick where you, 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 all you do is just land back, back, back on the board. It's kind of lazy tricks, I guess. Never really, gra I, I was never good enough to grind down rails or anything crazy like that, but... Uh, going down high speeds and stuff, I would, um, you know, one time I got, like, really bad on the gravel and just, like, uh, shinned my knees up and stuff like that. So, yes, yeah, extreme sports like this aren't really up my alley, but Razor scooters, I, they're really fun to zip around in. I think it's really good because I, I feel a little bit more safe because of the handle, you know? And uh, there's little turtles, too. I mentioned that in one of my videos, too. So, uh, this is Razor Freestyle Scooter. Let's get into this one. Yeah, that intro makes me think of like the magic school bus or something like that. All right, let's turn the volume down a little bit and press that start button. Um, yeah, let's just get right into the circuit. Uh, Chad, Amy with an I. <laughs> right on. Um, I think I, I had a blue one when I was younger. But I, when I say younger, I mean like early 20s because... I enjoyed Razor stuff, I guess, after it was cool. But, uh, yeah, like I said in the intro, yeah, you got to get a high score. Okay, long grind time. Extreme score. That whole deal. Uh, get the wheels. Okay. I kind of like the motif. It's cool. Um, let's just go for high score first, right? Yeah, that's what you may, it's what you think it is. It's um, triggers are used for you know moving your character around. Hey, I landed that. I totally landed that. Let's see if I can grind. No. <laughs> oh man, um, I kind of like that. This is just an innocent, cool game. Um, this is not a game to be taken seriously, and you could probably get far into this game if you really tried to. 
they're really trying to go for the uh, Tony Hawk's vibe because of the music and the, the whole thing. This is just like Dave Mira and uh, some of the other ones. It's got that 90s rock. And, um, I was looking at the manual, and the manual's funny because there's something for like a uh, VHS tape, but I'm pretty sure at that time DVDs were just coming out, so <laughs> it's kind of funny. I, the, the, um, the amount of time that VHS tapes were around was amazing. Yeah, I just had a phone call, so we're just kind of playing and um, I'll turn the volume down even, even more. I think it's still kind of kind of loud. Um, not playing particularly good. I feel like when I play bad at Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2, I still want to pick up the controller and, and stuff. And um, I feel like with this game, I don't know, I never really want to play much of it. But that's not to say it's not worthy of just trying and retrying. I got like zero things accomplished. Yeah, I, there's 30 wheels. I feel like that's kind of impossible. Let's just retry, I guess. Um, this is essentially the game. I don't really see any point of checking out the menus, but I mean, I could just kind of check it out just to do it. Let's try to go for the wheels, just why not. Uh, there was some over here. I thought there was. Uh, there's like two right there. One right here. Oh, the little banner was hidden. It's cool. Um, like I said, if you spend enough time with this one, you know, you can, uh, have an okay time, I guess. Now, the cameras are a little bit to be scrutinized because there are wheels in this stage, but I feel like they're kind of hidden. Is there any way I can, like, grind? Yeah. You can get off of the, uh... That's a cool trick I just did. I, di I didn't even try to do that. Oh man, I'm not fully articulating myself because I just didn't finish a sentence just now, so, you know, there's that. <laughs> hey, I made, hey, did you see that? That was cool. That was awesome. That's how radical I am. You guys don't know how bodacious I can get sometimes. I can get pretty sh shredical. I know that's a word. It's like shredder, but radical at the same time. That Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles cartoon was cool growing up, but I don't know. I like all of the episodes kind of blend in together. You know, when you watch stuff as an adult, like I was trying to watch uh, the Flintstones and um, like the Flintstones cartoon. And I, I don't know, I need to give it another shot, I guess, but uh, I just remember it different. I just remember it being kind of cooler than it is. If I just keep up with, like, the simple tricks, maybe I can get a high score that way. Got, like, a star. Did that give me a point? Did I run out of time? And it looks like I didn't get not much at all. Hey, I landed all of the tricks. That was 21 out of 21 tricks. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, let's uh, select level. It won't let me select a different level because... Yeah, it's restricting me to two levels, but it's letting me try this different stage. So let's just check that out for... I'm drinking tea and I don't... I didn't feel like trying to pause it. Um... Hey, what else is there to say? This is a Razor Freestyle Scooter. Um, I, I just feel like uh, trying to get the tricks and stuff is kind of impossible because the... Um, you, you know, you have to get all these wheels and there's like a million of them. With Tony Hawk's Pro Skater, you got to get Skate, and that's like five items that you have to get that's kind of cleverly located within the stages. And with this one, it's just a whole lot of wheels that you have to collect that's like scattered all the way around and you only have two minutes to do it and um, it, I don't know it, it, do, it doesn't really come across as approachable to the uninitiated you know yep 
So, yeah, I mean, I, I still like this game. I, I guess I kind of want to like this game, you know? But it's kind of ironic that it's called Freestyle Scooter when you're restricted to, to what you can do, I guess. Um, I could have went for the high scores, but I don't know. I thought I got that wheel. I'm trying to get that wheel. Yeah, I got it. Now I know why that kid was wearing it, uh, wearing a cast. Uh, I kind of stutter sometimes when I'm talking. <laughs> uh, alas, it's all good. Seven seconds. Let's do it. I miss Razor Freestyle scooters, man. Razor scooters. They're cool, you know. Let's uh, quit the game and check out what's on the menus because I said, hey, let's check out what's on the menus. Okay, so you got practice, that's cool. Versus, I don't know what that entails, but uh, yeah, there's a two player mode, so that's that's good. Let me check the case. Yeah, it says two player. Options, records, credits. So you just got the circuit, really, and then you got to practice. Um, does practice mode t tell you what to do? Because if it's like a tutorial, that'll kind of save the game a little bit. No, you're just dumped in. <laughs> Sounds like Blink-182. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's like songs about uh, rebelliousness, but it's like there's nothing to rebel against. <laughs> it's kind of like punk music. It's like... Well, screw you, and s <laughs> I berate you, and I hate you, and I say, screw you, and I say, screw you. <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that scene from Star Trek, uh, which one is it? I think it was the one with the whales, where uh, Kirk and Spock are in a bus, and some punk kid is, like, listening to some punk music, and, like, Kirk's like, K pardon me, could you please turn that down? And then he's like, he flips him off and turns his music up, and then Spock just reaches over and gives him the Vulcan nerve pinch. And then everybody in the bus gives them a little golf clap. And then <laughs> Kirk Kirk uh, does a little golf clap too. And uh, I think that was just the best part of um, Star Trek. Uh, which one was that? It was the one with the uh, whales. It's like the first one was called the Motionless Picture, and it had Kirstie Alley as a Vulcan, and I'm like, ugh, what? But then uh, Wrath of Khan, everybody loves that one. Been talking a lot about Trek, and it's like I, I watched some Deep Space Nine last night, and uh, Deep Space Nine is cool. Um, but I just I don't know; those two parters are kind of boring sometimes, you know. But I like the characters and stuff, and uh, I just like the little minutia, the little things that happen, just. Uh, the little banter inside the ship and how the characters kind of learn to know each other. Um, I recommend doing the practice mode first and just kind of getting lost in the game because you're not timed. So that's okay. You're not really challenged, but you can get the feel for the game. And for that, it's like, I don't want to hate this game. I, I, you know, I always start off with five. If I feel kind of neutral, I start off with five and then I just kind of think about the attributes. Um, let's think about this. Uh, yeah, let's think about this. Um, so, admittedly, this has a feel that's a little bit different from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. It's, uh, it's a little kind of cartoony game. Um, I'm wanting to say six for some reason. It's colorful. It's got you know okay music. There's nothing wrong with the music, and you know for an extreme sports game, you can go for worse games for sure. Like I said, MTV uh, skateboarding was pretty disappointing. Um, I don't think that the controls are that intuitive, um, so I'm thinking a solid six is probably warranted. Um, lacks character totally. It looks cooler than it is because there's no real story. Um, the in opening movie said something about uh, th there being some sort of plot. You have to save your friend from some monster or something. I didn't really quite get that, but yeah, um, I'm just gonna say six. So, right on. Uh, yeah, 6 out of 10. I appreciate you guys watching. Thanks.